Hey guys, it is Damak here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're here on FIFA 20 for my Sheffield United career mode for episode 32 of this series. Our game today is against Spurs on Valentine's Day 2021. That is due to the fact that I have unfortunately lost the footage to the previous two games which were against Bristol City and Newcastle. We beat Bristol City in the FA Cup 2-0. Then we beat Newcastle 3-1 in the Premier League. I deeply apologise for that. I don't know where the footage has gone. This will be my first upload since the new year. So I hope everyone has had a fantastic new year and Christmas. I do apologise for the lack of uploads. I had family round and, and I also had work. These kind of things that I just didn't really have time to make videos. And I do apologise for that. I'm trying to get back to the swing of things. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And also hit the bell if you want notifications whenever this series goes live. So we currently sit ninth in the table, joint on points with Wolves. We've got a game in hand compared to them though. Chelsea have dropped down to seventh place. Everton have jumped above them. So with this, if we win this game against Spurs, which is very unlikely, obviously they won the league last season, we will be closer to Chelsea and with a possibility of getting a Europa League spot. So I forgot to mention Lewis Ferguson has suffered a broken tibia, I believe that's how you say it. He's out for four months, so that is a big loss to the club. That would have been the previous footage that I had that unfortunately I don't have anymore. So let's head in to this game at Bramall Lane. Hopefully the team are all fit and ready and let's get this game underway. And hopefully we can come away with a point. Three would be brilliant, but I don't know about that. On this sunny day here at Bramall Lane, we've got Dean Henderson starting in goals. Baldock, Tomori, Egan and Ender Stevens are the back four. Watkins, Morrison, Norwood and Freeman are in the midfield. Robertson sitting in cam and Lee Smuse starts up top for us today. The normal lineup just to try and beat the reigning champions who look to get another title this season. Spurs line up with Loris in the goals with Mal, Sanchez, Aldevield and Berchiche at the back. Ndombele and Winks are CDMs today. Mora, Ali and Son are the cam players and Harry Kane the captain for Spurs starts up top. Oh that's a poor pass there, Dele Alli plays over the top to Lucas Mora. He's going to try play into the box, we've got to try watch this. Our defending is all over the place right now, Mora's running into the box, he plays into Harry Kane, a great save there by Dean Henderson to stop the Tottenham captain. As 13 minutes in they are all over us. It's inside from Ender Stevenson to Robertson, first time it can find Luke Freeman. Falls down to Lee Smith. It's now to Callum Robertson. He's away on goal. Callum Robertson can't find the back of the net. That's our first main clear cut opportunity this game. Deli Alley now into the box. And Sanchez on the header struck the crossbar. Dawson Sanchez nearly puts in again. And Dean Henderson just needs to calm play down. He's got it in his hands for a few seconds because that was ever so close to going into a lead for Tottenham. Now we've got an attack down the left with Luke Freeman. He's going to cut back now. He need this, needs the extra men to help us as Ollie Norwood gets tackled. And that's the attack done. A very close call there from Davison Sanchez. Baldock wins the ball back. Very nicely done as we just look to attack. Once again, Lee Smith can play through. It's into Ralph Morrison. Is he on side? I don't know, but we've put it straight towards Loris on the header. Another great save by Hugo Loris, and he was on side indeed. Goal decision system. That is nowhere near over the line. I am sorry, but if that is nowhere near the line. Kane now finds Winks. It's a lovely ball out wide to Sun. He's going to try whip it to the box. Oh no he's not, he's turned a defender, Sam now, plays it back into Deli Alley. can we possibly, no we can't, can we possibly tackle him, no we can't, Deli Alley just gets through all our defenders and puts that one into the back of the net, what can I say, we were so, so unorganised at the back, we tried to slide in but Deli Alley just went to the opposite side, Dean Henderson got a hand to it but it was not enough, look at this on the left foot, Deli Alley. Makes it a 1-0 to Spurs. Deli Alli, the goal scorer, picks it up once again. Lovely from Fikayo Tomori. We can possibly get forward with this. Ravel Morrison could find Callum Robertson. He tries to play it into Musi now. Musi on the volley. Puts it so far wide. So far wide for Lise Musi. What a chance that was to equalise for the Blades. And Lise Musi just gets it on the wrong foot. And that is so unlucky. Harry Kane now for Tottenham. Plays it back into Ali. Is he going to get another one? I don't know. It's fallen into Yuri Berechiche. And that one flies past the post. 
Wins. Holy Norwood is now going to drive forward. He's going to play out wide in towards George Bullock. The right back does have some pace, but I think Sun is quicker than just. Sun goes in for a lunge. That is that is a very dodgy chance there by Sun. And what is he going to get from the referee? It is a yellow card. Could have been a red. It was from behind him. I wish he had to push forward. Norwood now plays it into Lee Smith. He can now play through into McBurney. McBurney on the right foot. Rifles that into the back of the net. And we are back in the game. An equaliser here in the 80-something minute, 86th minute, I think. Oli McBurney, the super sub, is the man to fire it past Hugo Lloris. The ball from Lee Smith onto the outside of Berechiche. And Oli McBurney was in the right place at the right time. Slotted that to the inside post of Hugo Lloris. And thank goodness for that. We were struggling the whole game. We bring Oli McBurney on and he does the damage. We could get a point from this game, as I said before I came in. That would be the dream. Trying to get the ball in the middle. I think that's going to be it. As Hatabor now tries to run. He's put out a play himself. I think that is full. It is full time. And our late resurgence there with Oli McBurney has got us the point. It's 1-1 here at Bramall Lane. And that was a very, very stressful game. I'll give you that. Stress and pressure on ourselves to try and get back in the game. We weren't able to for a while. And Oli McBurney slaughtered a pass Hugo Lloris and gave us the hope that we wanted. When you look at this, the game looked kind of equal, but I assure you Tottenham were all over us more than we were all over them. We had more, one more shot though, look how it ended up, we 1-1 here. The man of the match today was Deli Ali. he did score the goal for Tottenham as well. Lloris made 6 saves, whereas Dean Henderson also made 6 saves today. A very close match it looked statistically, but... I thought it was more in the Spurs direction. Good result for ourselves though, as we get closer to Chelsea in the table. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode that John Lundstrom will be moving to Huddersfield in the summer transfer window because I didn't realise he had a release clause and they triggered it. So it's just unfortunate that he has had to go. He will still be with us until summer though, but it's just a bit annoying because he did play so well for ourselves. And of course, he's had so many long shots that have gone in as well. He's good for that. But our next game here is against Manchester United and it will be at Old Trafford. A very tough game for ourselves. They currently sit third in the league standings as we're currently in eight, eight points behind Everton, although we have a game in hand. We're going to have to think hard about this team selection. Let's go into Old Trafford though and try and get a point from Manchester United. It's the clash of the Uniteds here as the players to watch are Jesse Lingard, 14 goals in this season. He's currently fifth in the Premier League top scorers. Compared to Ollie McBurney, three goals in the last three matches. They're both the players to watch today. Man United line up with De Gea in goals. Wambasaka, Jen, De Frey, and Hakimi at the back. Fred and Paul Pogba are in the CDM roles. Mata, Lingard and Lamar are in the cam positions. Marcus Rashford starts up top today for Manchester United. For ourselves, we've got the main man, Dean Henderson, in goals. We've got Oli Watkins, John Egan, Keen Bryan, Fikai Otomori and Ender Stevens at the back. Morrison, Fleck and Norwood are in the middle. And we've got Robertson and McBurney up top. They're playing with Oli Watkins and Ender Stevens. They're going to be wing backs, so they'll be also running up. That's why I've got Oli Watkins there. The game is now underway. Let's get this going here as Paul Bogba is on the ball. And let's see what he can get up to today against this mighty side of Sheffield United. Balls into Paul Pogba. What is he going to be doing today? Nothing. He plays it straight into Fikai Otomori. You can't get... No, he can't get that away. As Keane Bryan gives the ball away once again. It falls to Thomas Lamar. What is he going to do? He plays it into Lingard. Now it's into Marcus Rashford. And six minutes in... Six minutes in... We're down a goal. Marcus Rashford at Old Trafford has put them 1-0 up. Can you really... Did you really expect that? Yes, we did. We don't really expect to come to Old Trafford and have an easy game. Should have pushed forward. Ollie McBurney can find a ball out wide to end of Stevens inside now. Into McBurney. Now it's in to Ollie Norwood. He's going to turn play through. Ollie McBurney's there on the right foot. A good save there by David De Gea. Our first chance of the game. Saved very well by the Manchester United captain. Look at the shot from Ollie McBurney. That was soaring. Is he the captain for Man United? I don't think he is. Never mind. It's a ball into the box from Paul Pogba. That's a good ball. Good save. 
by Dean Henderson. We just need to look and try and counter-attack this now. Flick plays it through and Tolly McBurney. That's a ball. Found its way in Tolly Norwood. Can we possibly get it through now? It's in to Callum Robinson. One on one with De Gea and he still isn't able to put it in the back of the net. He's had a mare of a season. Never mind a game, Callum Robinson. He's been so close on so many occasions, but he just cannot finish the ball. That's the ball over the top of the Marcus Rashford. He's turned back, plays it now in towards Lingard. And that soars past the post. Norwood inside, in towards Rafa Morrison. Can we possibly get something here? It's into McBurney onto his right foot. He hits it. It's a great save by David De Gea. He just scoops that one over the bar. And another chance there for Oli McBurney gone looming. It's a nice placement here to Callum Robertson. Can he scoop the ball over the top into Norwood? He can play it now to Oli Watkins, who's somehow away from the Man United defence. Can he squid into the box? Yes, he does. In towards Oli Norwood. And that is an equaliser before half time. Oli Norwood, number 16, gets the goal here for Sheffield United. Thank goodness for that. As I'm pretty sure he's just run into the Man United fans to celebrate. But it doesn't really matter because we are equalised here at Old Trafford. That's his fourth goal this season for Oli Norwood. We can get the ball up the field once again, possibly before half-time. McBurney can find a Ravel Morrison. Just looking for that extra run here. It's into Ravel Morrison now. He skipped away from the Man United defence. Can we possibly go ahead before half-time? Yes, we can. A goal there by Ravel Morrison straight after the previous one from Oli Norwood. We are ahead here at Old Trafford. What a turnaround that has been. A good assist there by, is that Ollie Watkins? I don't know, but a fantastic finish by Ravel Morrison. De Gea was so good at the start. Now he's just fallen to pieces and so have his defence as we've gone ahead here. His eighth goal, Ravel Morrison this season. And that's before half time. Pogba with the ball out wide. Can we deal with it? Yes, we can. Ollie Watkins. Playing quite well here at the right wing back position. Can't fault him today yet, anyway. We've got 15 minutes remaining. That's a lovely spot there by Oli Norway down into Ender Stevens. He's not quick enough. He's still got the ball though. Back pulls from Ender Stevens. And Robertson tries the special. And that was that was not working out at all. In towards Musse. Leads Musse now. Fresh on the pitch. He's going to hit it from there to the box. And he struck the crossbar. Can we get the ball back once again? It's fallen down. In towards Robertson. But De Gea saves once again. I don't know what's going on there. De Frey nearly puts that in his own net. As it went into added time. We've got a minute left of added time. With three minutes added on. Wambasaka drives forward. We've tackled him there. That is good. We're wasting time. And who is that getting the yellow? John Fleck has done us proud. He's getting a yellow for that. It was deserved. But it means that Man United are pushed further back in of the pitch, sorry. And now we've won it with Lundstrom. Can we win this with Watkins? Yes, we can. We can drive forward once again. No, we can't. And it doesn't really matter because we have beaten Manchester United here at Old Trafford. What a comeback that has been. No goals at all from either team in the second half. But a fantastic display of a comeback at the end of the first half. At the end of the game, it just was domination to ourselves. We had so many shots. De Gea had so many saves as well, which really irritated me. We had 14 shots to their 6, 8 on target to their 3. They had more possession, but in the end, we get the 3 points. Man of the match today was Oli Norwood. I did move him into left wing back at the end of the game to bring on David Parkhouse and Lundstrom. Musse also came on the pitch. Dean Henderson made 5 saves today. De Gea made 10 saves in the Manchester United net. That is something that they need to worry about. If they're getting that many shots on them and that many saves needed to still lose a game at home as well, then they've got something to worry about. But we seem to perform better away from home than we do at home, which is really, really odd. But nevertheless, I'm not complaining. We've won at Old Trafford and we bring three points, obviously, with us back to the table. So the next game, which will be in episode 33, is a home game in the FA Cup against Swansea City. Round 5 of the FA Cup sees us facing Ollie McBurney's former team, which will be a blast to the past for him. Hopefully he can score though. I wouldn't put it past him. He's been on form quite recently. But after this game, I think it's three days after, we are playing at Burnley in the league. So that is something to look out for. Let's look at the league standings right now. So Spurs lead the way at the top of the league due to that draw against us by three points now ahead of Liverpool. Man United have played an extra game than them too and they're only a point behind Liverpool as have 
Manchester City. As we go further down, you can see ourselves in 8th place here. We were 6 points behind Everton. We've got a game in hand on them though. So I don't think Everton are playing that well. So we're playing Burnley. We could possibly get closer to them now and closer to the Europa League spots. Fantastic. We've edged away from Wolves. We're 4 points ahead of them. But they have played the same amount of games as us. So they could close it up to 1 point. It does look a bit dire for these teams because from 14th and below that is going to be the relegation battle because Bournemouth to Burnley is a 9 point gap and if you go further down Norwich, Derby and Fulham are all below 15 points. That is very, very unfortunate for them. They just have not played that well even though I think Derby beat us at the start of the season which is very odd. That's something I regret not beating Derby. Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of the episode, a fantastic result against Manchester United and a kind of alright result against Spurs, we could have played so much better against them though, we could have taken our chances but uh, in the end we got a point from them so I can't really complain. That is going to be the end of this episode, if you haven't done so already be sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want notifications whenever these videos go live. There will be more of a variety in the series that I'm uploading, whether there's one-off videos or another series on FIFA. I'll be changing it up, I'll be uploading more frequently than I have done so in the previous few weeks. Anyway guys, thank you ever so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.